So I've been sent some more free stuff. Let's check it out. This is the Beak A50 graphics tablet. And it's the same size as the A30, so it's uh, 10 by 6. Nice big drawing area. I do like that size. I don't like anything smaller. I find it quite tricky. I do notice some people talk about having space on the desk. So if you've got a small desk, then maybe a smaller one's for you. But if you can, then go for the bigger size, I think. It's nice and thin. It seems well built. It's got your buttons on the side. It's also got a touch pad, so you can sort of push it left and right and up and down. And they operate different controls. It's USB-C. It's got a pen with a nice sort of case, sort of material case and the pen is quite nice. It's a bit more Wacom shape than the last one, so it's possibly a touch more comfortable. Maybe it's just what I'm used to because of the Wacom. And it's got two buttons. It's not battery powered, so you don't have to plug it in or anything like that. It's very similar, really, to most in the price range. It's £40, so it's a bit cheaper than the Huion and the UG and it's just a tad bit more expensive than the A30. It's supposed to have a slightly quicker response time. I didn't notice too much, but it's been a little while since I've used the A30, so maybe it is that bit faster. It did seem nice, it seemed comfortable. I'm not noticing much difference between these graphics tablets and the Wacom tablets, so I think they're pretty much in the same ballpark now. The big players seem to be Huion, UG, XP Pen and Wacom and now Veek are there as well. Interestingly, Veek apparently are set up by people from Huion, so they've kind of broken away and started their own company. So you can see lots of similarities, and this is probably the cheapest of those big names. So in terms of quality, you're getting the same across the board, in my opinion, but this one at £40, doing very well. I didn't see it available anywhere except Gearbest, so I'll be putting the links in the description for that. They will be affiliated links, so you'll be supporting me if you click on them. But you can always go straight to the Gearbest site and type in the A50 if you want to. There's quite a nice little feature that you've got these little lines that are indented here on the buttons that are closer to the trackpad. So you can kind of feel your way without having to look directly at the tablet. So you can always be looking at the screen and then feel your fingers on the different buttons. The gesture control is fine, it works well. I don't really notice much difference between this and a wheel, to be honest, you could do either. I suppose gestures a bit quicker. The wheel, actually, I find a little bit irritating, and in different programs it will go faster or slower, so it can be a bit awkward, especially in Blender. I notice it really goes fast suddenly when I'm increasing my brush size or not. It can be a bit of a pain there. But with this, it's absolutely fine, and you can just brush across, no problems. You can see a bit of footage here of me drawing. It's an absolutely fine experience. It's really enjoyable no problems, no glitches, although there was one tiny glitch in Photoshop but I think that was more a driver compatibility issue but you seem to get those sort of tiny glitches every now and again. It wasn't a big problem just every time I changed the colour and went out of the window and back in it drew a funny line but to be honest I seem to find those sort of problems with every driver even Wacom. It seems to be one of those things where you're always going to get issues. The nice thing was that when you go onto their driver site which I'll show you here there's just one driver. The only problem for me is that I have to uninstall the rest of my drivers to install this one. But I suppose that's not going to be a problem for anybody else if this is your main tablet. It would be a problem if you wanted to take this somewhere else and use it on another machine and they had lots of tablets installed on those. I didn't notice any squiggle in the lines, it was very responsive. Maybe it is a touch more responsive than other ones. Pressure sensitivity is all as you'd expect which is very good. Again, I don't notice much between them. The drivers work without any problems. The programmable buttons were good. There is one issue that you can't program the pen in different programs, so if you want the pen buttons differently for different programs, that can be a problem for you. I like to have the middle mouse button for Blender, and then I like to have the space bar for Photoshop. So if I change the programs, then I'll have to go and change the pen settings. All the programmable buttons, however, you can change for different programs, even the gesture control. So all in all, a lovely bit of kit. I would probably say this is my favorite now. I was leaning towards the XP Pen, which I use a lot of work, but actually I'm slightly preferring this one. It just seems a tiny bit more responsive. The drivers work first time without any glitches, and it's about £10 cheaper, which is quite something really for a graphics tablet of this price range. So if I were about to buy a graphics tablet, then I would probably buy this one. And I think I will update my website soon to make sure that this one is the choice tablet. So that's all from me. Thank you to Veek for sending this to me. Well done with the graphics tablet, it's great. And thank you for watching.